So, Mayor Burton, uh, let's start with talking about really the hot topic around the entire region and the entire country for that matter. You know, inflation was the buzzword of 2022. There's lots of fear of recession for 2023. And with it being the new year, I wanted to look at the Oakville budget. What can residents of the town expect for the town's budget in 2023? The top headline that people can expect is it will be way below inflation in our tax increase. That's the good news. Other cities I know are, are coming in at or above inflation, uh, but inflation is running pretty high. Uh, and, uh, and our finances, we've always taken great pride in uh, being economical. You're going to really see evidence of that this time. That's fantastic. That's definitely not something that, you know, I've heard from other mayors in the region or even the city of Toronto, for that matter. Everything's kind of gone along with inflation. As far as um, property taxes go, of course, uh, that is something that people are going to be asking about, in particular in that sector. Uh, do you have any numbers or details at this time? Um, I expect that the final combined total property tax increase will be well below 4%, well below 3.6% if I if I want to be daring and really take a guess before council has its way with the budget. Uh, we're going to be presenting a proposal to council that uh, will, re will result in 3.52, and that will be way below all our neighbors, just like we were actually last year. We were last year well below all our neighbors. Well, I think that's definitely going to be good news for uh, citizens of the town of Oakville. All right, well, let's talk another topic that is everywhere in the province of Ontario, and that is Bill 23, More Homes Built Faster. Now, you, Mayor Burton, happen to be sandwiched between two of the most outspoken mayors, with Bonnie Crombie on one side, Marianne Mead Ward on the other side. However, we also have Oakville. I MPP Stephen Crawford backing this bill 100%. I'm curious to get your thoughts. Well, I saw what he said, and um, I thought he was pretty careful to uh, walk right down the middle and, and try to invite people to stick to the facts. I'm a member of the uh, Big City Mayors of Ontario group that is led by uh, Mayor Crombie of Mississauga, who's the chair. And, uh, and Mayor Marianne Mead Ward, who is the vice chair. And when you're a member of a group, uh, you, know, you don't, you don't wanna uh, jump in front of the leaders when they're busy taking public positions. So I've, I've sat back, I've signed the uh, Ontario Big City Mayor's position paper on Bill 23. Um, and I have said, as, as they have, that we take comfort from the promise of the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing and the Premier to keep the cities whole. Now, uh, the, everything else has been speculation. Nobody knows for sure uh, what the impact will be on our budgets until we get further down the road. Uh, for one thing, the, the increase in costs to the cities, uh, the reason they're hypothetical is it depends on how much gets built. and. Uh, you know, if you if you don't uh, build anything, you don't lose anything, if you see what I mean. Meanwhile, we're supposed to be increasing by 50% how much we build. So uh, uh, there's a cross incentive there, I would point out, you know, as a systems guy, I would go, well, one of these things is not supporting the other. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see how the province adjusts its game. But they have already been adjusting uh, their approach on this. If you look closely, uh, uh, the, uh, there was an initiative by the city of Toronto to speed things up. And, uh, and as a result, the province delayed by six months the imposition of um, the penalties for not processing uh, applications fast enough. So there is a give and take that's going on that you can, you can point to if you want to. Um, our town, when, uh, if you remember, the MPP's uh, point was that these uh, these cuts in fees and charges are for affordable housing and uh, public housing and social housing, not for uh, market housing, for not for for profit housing. And uh, you know, keying off of his uh, statement there, I I do remember very well that when when we built, we we helped 
Habitat for Humanity build some affordable housing here, and we help to claim health, uh, uh, set up a, a respite care place in, in Oakville. And in, and in both cases, uh, we help them financially uh, in, in amounts roughly equivalent to the development charges that they had to pay. And so, you know, at, at certain times uh, when we've wanted to do it ourselves, we haven't had a problem with it. And uh, I guess what, what rankles some people is being told, well, now you're going to do it all the time. And, uh, uh, but, you know, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, we've got two letters, one from the minister and one from the premier saying, don't worry, uh, we'll make you whole. And, uh, and we haven't got any costs yet. So uh, my attitude, look, I'm a retired businessman. My, my attitude towards this is, let's do the accounting, let's keep track, and let's send the bill. And, and we'll see. And then, you know, if the bill doesn't get paid, then we can fight. <laughs>